hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Boys Radio Gundam. The place where all torch prosper, they will and shall forever, okay? Hey, alright guys, and so in today's video, we will be taking a look at something pretty magical and unique as per usual. However, it is an item from uh, a toys company that we have become quite familiar with on the channel over the past month or so. And that company is none other than PJ Masks, okay? So guys, uh, without further ado, uh, please allow me to introduce to you the star of today's show, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Alright guys, so as you can see here, today we will be taking a look at the PJ Masks Diecast Vehicle Owl Glider. Yes sir, so our Owl Glider comes in this beautiful packaging as you can see here. I really really love uh, the gradient that they use on the packaging. You know, as you, as you can see here, on this side uh, is green, in the middle is purple slash bluish slash violet. And on the left hand side, which is your right hand side, is uh, red, red, and a little bit of orange -ish. Orange, I guess, ish, okay? So now, quickly, let's see here. This is the view from the front. Then comes the view from the right hand side. And after that, the view from the back. Then follows the view from the left hand side and after that comes in the view from the bottom and of course to top it all off here comes the view from the T.O.P. Bye bye! <laughs> Alright guys, so quickly uh, when we take a quick look at the view from the front we can see that this toy is recommended for people of ages 3 and up. And also they were nice enough to give us a quick little uh, choking hazard which is like a warning you know saying that showing that some of the small parts are not suitable for children because uh, you know they could be swallowed easily we can see that the, we can see that we uh, we will be taking a look at one vehicle only and that vehicle is uh, is of a die cast material so that's very interesting here we have you know a quick little picture of uh, outlet you know from the PJ masks universe now, if we shift over to the view from the back, we can see here that this toy is part of a collection of other toys that include Birds Unlimited to the Gecko Mobile, Gecko Mo Mobile, right, which is this one, then the Cat Car, which is that one, then the Owl Glider, one that we're reviewing now, and then we also have Romeo's Lab, which is pretty interesting. We have the Night Ninja's Bus, which is also pretty interesting. Therefore, all collectors and lovers of the PJ Masks, you know, animes and franchise should definitely uh, have their hands in them in order to have a lot of fun and to create uh, memories. And here we can also see, you know, a lot of information as, you know, just like, uh, you know, the, the web official website, uh, the social media handles, and also just play there, and then the um, UPC number. Alright guys, so now, before we of course get started with it, I must share with you the quick story on how this toy found its way on the channel. Alright guys, so as per usual, I was looking for a new toy to review on the channel, right? And then uh, the day before, I was going through my, my analytics and I actually saw that uh, our last PJ Masks, PJ Masks toy review did pretty well. So I figured, you know what, why don't I just go ahead and look for another PJ Masks toy, you know, order it, get it and get it shipped at the crib, you know, grab it and quickly make a review for you guys, you know, because you guys apparently, you know, love it a lot. I mean, I love, I love to play with all types of toys, specifically the PJ Masks toys, but you know, and the analytics also show that you guys really enjoy it. So why don't I just go ahead and kill two birds with one stone, which is what I'm doing right now okay all right guys so please make sure to let me know you know make <laughs> please make sure to let me know how i'm doing so far by leaving a comment uh liking the video sharing it with your friends and family members subscribing and of course hitting the bell icon to stay tuned for more so right now <laughs> so as of right so for right now 
let's jump right into it. Okay, guys, as always, I've got my scissors here, like that, and I am ready to get my hands on this beautiful piece. Okay. Alright, so let me go ahead and quickly pull it towards me. And then we could go ahead and get started with the fun. Alright guys, so ladies and gentlemen, go into the night and save the day with the PJ Masks uh, vehicles. The PJ Masks figure and vehicle assortment comes with a 3 inch articulate uh, PJ Masks figure and their signature vehicle. This vehicle is ready to roll and can even fit up to 3 PJ Masks 3 inch figures. Oh, that's really interesting. And then the one that we are blessed with you today is the Owl Glider, okay? which is a die cast type item. So the Owl Glider has a cool and sleek design to it, and uh, that is approximately 1 colon 43 inches, 43 in scale, so I was going to say inch, but no. And then uh, it's perfect for ch you know for chasing downtime, nighttime, for chasing down nighttime villains, you know, and uh, it, for more fun and extravagant and extravagance, of course, you know, we all should definitely collect this as well as the other toys that I showed earlier in the back, all right. And uh, also, all fans and lovers are encouraged to collect, you know, pretty much all the PJ Masks uh, diecast vehicle, including. The ones that I shared before, and even more, in order to have more fun and to create more memories. And last but not least, this toy is most recommended for people of ages three and up. Oh, well, that is pretty good to know. All right, so this is what our packaging looks like once it's been opened. Kind of busted it open, yeah. And then this is the extra layer of protection that was added, you know, in uh, in the box in order to secure it, like that. That's pretty cute and pretty interesting. But for now, we'll just go ahead and put it aside like that. And then here comes the star of today's show. As you can see here, guys, this is what the owl glider looks like. Okay. So quickly, this is the view from the front. Then we can switch over to the view from the right hand side. Look at that. That was two wheels. Sexy as hell, boy. Then we can move over to the view from the back, as you can see there. Then we can move over to the view from the left hand side. And after that, bam, the view from the bottom. Then comes the view from the T.O.P. Bye bye. All right, so quickly let's go ahead and uh, you know have a more thorough, thorough uh, look at the vehicle. You can see here the first two front wheels they do spin pretty well. The back wheels do also spin. Yeah, and then we have a few you know screws here in order to keep the vehicles from falling to pieces. I really like the slick designs that is to it. I really like this plastic thing that was that's used to that is used to represent uh, you know the glass um, how do you call that the glass window of uh, you know of this of uh, space what do you call this space vehicle or whatever some kind of a spaceship like a mini spaceship slash vehicle you can hear here you can see here. Uh, the wings that they added okay, that's pretty cool all right and here we have this little piece right there it doesn't really do much though it's just here for a decoration I guess it's this little, little square thing all right and then quickly if we move over to the view from the back we can see that you can actually open this thing well you probably shouldn't but you can go ahead and open it and it doesn't like hold any batteries so that's that and um, yeah from you know looking at the view from the from looking at the front we can see that you can fit 
well if you first of all if you can open it you can go ahead and fit up to three, three up to three three inches uh, PJ mask character which are most likely uh, you know which are more likely to be Owlet, Gecko and uh, Catboy but we have to first figure out how to open it <laughs> and we can see these little, th these little two yellow things right here like this and this side they are meant to represent uh, some kind of a light um, how do you call that? I forgot the name of it like beam, beam like beams of light yeah so that's pretty interesting and pretty cool I like it a lot okay alright guys so as for me this toy gets a rating of 4.5 out of 5 for a few reasons first and foremost it is of a rather small size as you guys already know I prefer my toys to be quite big and a little large secondly it is sure to spark some creativity so definitely by playing with this toy you will you know you are you will be called I mean you must be creative and even by me just you know by me by me just introducing it on the channel you know I kind of became I kind of became more creative you know with actually wanting to so guys you know this toy will, will definitely spark some creativity in you especially if you add like more toys you know more toys more toys that are part of the family you're guaranteed to have like you know um, how do I say that an orgasm <laughs> an orgasm full of creativity all right and uh, thirdly it is made out of good material and holds a beautiful craftsmanship yes so the material used to build the owl glider is die cast which is definitely one of the best of the one of the best material that you can use for any toys and as far as the craftsmanship you know it's pretty rigid and pretty solid mm -hmm. you can see here the yeah, attention to details as well look at that if I pan a little bit this way and then I can go ahead and pan the other way you can see you pretty nice I like it a lot fourthly it is reusable definitely this toy is very very reusable as long as you take good care of it and fifthly it is nice and so much sturdy however however you should avoid dropping it in order to limit the amount of scuffs scratches and possible cracks and breaks and you might also you know try not to like unscrew uh, like the pieces at the, uh, at the bottom like right here because if you lose some of the screws I don't think you will be able, I don't think you'll be able to like put them I don't think I don't think it'll be <laughs> if you look at them if you lose some of the screws I don't think uh, the glider will be able to uh, remain intact because like you'll probably be falling into pieces or things like that okay so guys make sure to you know, take good care of these toys make sure to take good care of this toy have a fun with it and you know don't try to do too much okay So that, ladies and gentlemen, marks the end of today's video. As always, if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. Yeah. Leave a comment to let us know what you think, what you'd like to see, and where we can improve. Share this video with a friend or a family member in order to help us spread the word and to raise awareness. But most importantly though, make sure to completely destroy that subscribe button and to also hit the bell icon to stay tuned for more. As always guys, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. See you. Whoop. PJ Mask into the night to save the day or something like that. <laughs> Alright guys, so goodbye.